What's up guys, it's me Nualo Bomber. Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Explained. Today I will be talking about nobodies. You can sort of see this as an extension of the Heartless video since the Heartless are related to nobodies but it's also its own thing so yeah what can you do. Anyway, remember how I said that Heartless represent the essence of a person last episode? Well, nobodies represent basically everything else. In Kingdom Hearts, there are three components to a person. The body, the soul, and the heart. Heartless are made of the hearts of people, while nobodies are made up of the spirits and bodies of people. Now, nobodies first made a physical appearance in Kingdom Hearts Final Mix as a secret boss in Hollow Bastion. When you beat the man in black, you get Ansem's 13th report and helps Kingdom Hearts 1 players understand the basics of a nobody before they were even truly introduced. Then you later learn a little bit more about nobodies in Chain of Memories from both Sora and Riku's story. Nobodies later got their full introduction and explanation at the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 2. Now like I said earlier, nobodies are the byproduct of becoming a heartless, meaning every nobody has a corresponding heartless. Unless you're Kyrie. Now, if someone was to become a heartless with a particularly strong heart, as stated by Yen Sid Sama, the empty shell left behind, aka the body and the spirit, begin to act on a will of its own. When this happens, boom, you have yourself a nobody. Now, unlike heartless, or their possible human counterparts, nobodies belong to neither the realm of light nor the realm of darkness. They belong to a special realm known as the realm in between. Also, because of the nature of nobodies having no hearts and simply being the byproduct of creating another entity, they are considered to have not meant to exist in the first place. They are stated to be in a state where they don't exist at all. Uh, I'll definitely go further into the realm in between in another video, but that's but that's really all I have to say now. Now, unlike Heartless, there are no man-made nobodies, meaning every single nobody was once a real person. They're all natural. Now, I'm going to bring up a point I made in my last video. The only people who can't produce a Heartless are the Princesses of Hearts or the people who have had their hearts stripped clean of darkness. However, it is possible for a princess of heart to have a nobody, but these are only in the most extreme, specific, and special kinds of circumstances. The only possible example is of course Kairi and her nobody Namine. Kairi, naturally, would never be able to produce a heartless or a nobody on her own. However, because her heart was inside Sora when Sora's body, heart, and soul was going through its own process to make a heartless that ended up making Roxas, Kyrie was also used in that process. Contrary to popular belief, however, Namine was not made from Kyrie's body or her soul. Namine was made from Kyrie's heart, yes, which makes her Kyrie's nobody, but the body and soul used to make her was actually Sora's, which is why Namine is linked to Sora. Nobodies also only obey the orders of other high-ranking nobodies. Typically, the members of the organization command a certain nobody. For example, the sniper nobodies are controlled by Zigbar, Dragoons are controlled by Zaldin, and Samurais are controlled by Roxas. Unlike Heartless, who generally are black in color and only have a human form under the right conditions, nobodies with the strongest hearts have human form, but other than that there is really no other kind of requirements. The heart doesn't need to be as strong as if the person was becoming a heartless and maintain their human form. If nobodies don't look like humans, they will range from a multitude of different breeds. Dusk are considered the most common form of nobody. They are skinny, they have very fluid movements. These nobody breeds can also range from being things like huge monsters, uh, some having generic abilities and some maybe even having a special kind of power. Now when it comes to humanoid nobodies, their physical appearance most of the time will be very close to their original. There are circumstances however that will make the nobody not look like the original. 
Two examples are Xemnas and Roxas, and I guess Naminé, but I also explained what's happening with her. When Xehanort became a Heartless and a Nobody, Xehanort's heart, of course, went to Ansem. But Xehanort was housing somebody else's heart at the time, and this heart went to the Nobody and changed their appearance. This was Terra's heart. However, because of the fashion of Xehanort having Terra's heart was through possession instead of simply consensual housing, Xemnas took on some of Xehanort's qualities, i.e. his ambitions, hair color, eye color, skin color. Roxas also suffered from this. When Sora became a Heartless, Ventus's heart who was in Sora went to Roxas and shaped his appearance. And since Ventus didn't possess Sora, Roxas just looks like Ventus's clone. Also, when it comes to humanoid nobodies they gain, any and all abilities that their original selves had, the only power that generally a nobody can't possess is the power of the Keyblade. Now, the reason why is because you need a heart to wield a Keyblade and nobodies generally are born without hearts. The only reason Roxas could wield the Keyblade was because Ventus' heart was inside of him. The only nobody who didn't gain power from their original self was actually Naminé. Instead of gaining any abilities Kairi had, she gained the ability to alter the memories of people, specifically the memories of Sora and any and all people who he was connected to. I plan to talk about this later on so don't worry, there's definitely more to it. Here on the topic of memories, nobodies also gain all the memories and intelligence of their original selves unless the nobody is under special circumstances. The two nobodies that come to mind are Roxas and Naminé. Since Sora returned to his human form as a Heartless and kept his memories, the memories that should have gone to Roxas didn't because Sora's time as a Heartless was so short. Therefore, he was born without memories or even a lot of common knowledge to be honest. On top of that, Sora's memories and Roxas' memories were also linked, so anything that Roxas may know that Sora didn't would seem familiar to Sora and vice versa. The other example is Naminé. Since Kairi was never a Heartless, her memories never went to Naminé. Uh, one more thing about Nobodies is that they don't need to be killed by a certain weapon, like how the Heartless need to be killed by the Keyblade, but when they die, there is no possibility of them coming back, since they weren't even meant to be. Now, even though Nobodies aren't born with hearts, it is stated in Dream Drop Distance near the end that the body of a person will regrow a heart naturally over time and it will do so at the first chance it gets. But should the nobody be destroyed with this, the heart will simply merge with the original. Another quick fact about nobodies is that they don't age at all. This is mostly true with the exception of, of course, Naminé and Roxas. It isn't really explained why, but it is more than likely because their aging was related and proportional to Kairi and Sora since they coexisted. Now, should a nobody and their original coexist, they will merge together if they are in close proximity. This is even shown to be unwillingly with Naminé. To bring up a point earlier, when a nobody dies, they're just gone. Well, that's not entirely true, since if the heartless of a person is defeated, the heart is released. And if the nobody gets defeated, the body and soul are released as well. Meaning, defeating a Heartless and the Nobody of a person will guarantee the resurrection of the original. This was how Xehanort and the other members of the organization were able to return. Well guys, uh, that's gonna do it for me. Um, I feel like I got the general idea about Nobodies, so hope you guys enjoyed this. Next episode, I will be talking about the Unversed, so that should be a fun episode. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you guys sponsor my channel. Uh, this has been Noir Lobomber, and I'm out.